Hey again, Blank Dieters. Thank you for staying with me. It's multiple upload day. This is just another video in the series. If it's your first time watching me today, make sure you check out the pinned comments down below. I'm going to put some links to my other videos that I did today. I just felt like talking today. I just wanted to talk and talk to you. I wanted to talk to you, okay? So please do me a favor and listen. So today I wanna to talk to you about a very funny but very important topic. Can fruit make you gain weight? Let's get into the video. to my returning subscribers everybody who stayed with me today if it's your first time on my channel thank you for stopping by remember to do me the biggest biggest favor and subscribe and also click the notification bell and you will be notified every time that I upload a new video like this multiple videos that are informative for you and I might even make you laugh a little bit you know how Oprah says it make you laugh a little bit you know, <laughs> that was the worst impersonation of Oprah I have ever, ever heard, even from me, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, so I want to talk to you today about fruit. Can fruit make you gain weight? So I was, uh, you know, scrolling down my youtube and i just saw this video by dr oz and he was talking about uh you know fruit can fruit make you gain weight can you put on weight after eating too much fruit and i was like there dr oz goes again like he always wants to bring a new twist to something that we already know you know dr oz would be like a cucumber has a you know he just will try to mm -mm. but in this case i gotta admit that he really was onto something um Fruit can make you fat, okay? There's a popular con a misconception in the diet circles that fruit are, you know, fruits are free foods. You can eat as many servings as you want, you can do whatever, but if you eat, let's say, three to four servings a day, you can rack up a um, whole 500 calories, which is like a meal, you know? But to be honest, do I really think somebody who's eating regular fruit can eat, like overeat fruit? No. If you're eating the raw form of the fruit, let's say you take a strawberry, you have 10 strawberries, you have some blueberries, uh, you slice up some kiwi fruit, you peel an orange. I don't think it's possible for you to overeat eat fruit because when you eat it with all its fiber and when it's complete, you're not gonna wanna overeat it. I don't know, you have to be having some kind of problem or you have maybe coming from hibernation and you're so hungry to eat that much fruit. Normally for me, the process of peeling an orange is very satisfying and then taking apart the various you know, little segments and everything. By the time I finish an orange, I don't want another one because the fiber and the fruit, the juiciness, the sweetness, if you get a really good orange that's in season, you're not gonna want anything else. So even though we have a lot of sugar in fruit, the way it's designed is you cannot really overeat it, especially if you eat the whole fruit. Now, let me tell you what can tend to be dangerous. Like when you're playing into the dangerous territory that can get you fat. When you start messing with them smoothies, okay? And the juices, okay? Sometimes you think, hey, let me just juice me. I'll juice three oranges. But do you know, I think maybe to make half a glass of orange juice uh, or, or a one cup of orange juice, you may need like eight oranges. Do you know how many calories that is? Chances are, if you are eating the orange, you are never going to eat eight oranges. Like, I, I don't know, you probably suffer from heartburn or whatever. After eating one or two oranges, you feel full, not full, but you feel satisfied. Like, mm, you know, that citrusy goodness is like okay i had enough for the day but when you juice it you tend to have too much because you're extracting you know 
all that juice and leaving the pulp and all the fiber and all the stuff behind. And that's the stuff that's going to make you feel satisfied without, you know, you're only extracting the sugar, which is the part that's bad for you if consumed, you know, excessively. So yeah, there is a possibility if you juice your fruit, you know, and you don't like, uh, like for example, if you're juicing, you can do maybe one apple and do the rest celery and cucumber. That's fine. But when you tend to do six apples and one little leaf of spinach to make it green and maybe a little bit of cucumber, chances are you're going to gain weight because fruit has a lot of sugar and sugar typically has a lot of calories and you tend to overeat that sugary part of the fruit that makes you fat. Also, when you make smoothies, you might tend to use a lot of fruit as well, especially if you don't want to use like yogurt or ice cream or any filler agent or whatever, you will tend to use too many fruits. You can use three bananas um, for a smoothie if you don't want to put like anything else like dairy and whatever, because you're like, I don't want to be so healthy and whatever, but you're actually putting a little bit more sugar in your, um, in your smoothie by putting a lot more fruit. And also, if you notice, when you put the fruit in a smoothie, you kind of make it less. That means you're not enjoying, again, the, the way it was supposed to be enjoyed. Because imagine this, one big apple can be blended into just, you know, puree, which you can literally just gulp down your throat in like 30 seconds. Instead of you biting that apple slowly and your body is registering that, okay, I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm getting satisfied. Okay, the sugar is good, but I'm also getting the fiber. I don't know if you get what I mean. So when you make too many smoothies, especially if you have three, four smoothies throughout the day, chances are you are definitely eating like more than 500 to 1,000 calories more than you should be eating when it comes to fruit. The key, I think that the rule of thumb is one to two servings a day should be enough when it comes to fruit. Um, and those servings should not be crazy portions. Like the doctor who was uh, a guest on Dr. Ah uh, said that he had a patient who was on like a fruit cleanse or something or like a vegan diet. This uh, person was having 75 servings of fruit a day. Like for me, I was like, okay, she needs a medal or something because I don't know how you can eat something, but I'm sure she was doing, she was juicing, smoothies and you know, just all these different kinds of things. So everything, even something that's good needs to be enjoyed in moderation. Another way that you can overeat fruit is eating them dried fruits okay dried fruit okay 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 the raisins um dates uh what else we got uh i'm not sure about prunes dry fruit is dried and all the water is taken out of it. It's basically just dehydrated and then dried. And then the sugar concentration becomes more. So now a whole banana is just a few banana chips, which I, lo I love banana chips, guys. I love banana chips in my granola. Like I remember, <laughs> I don't think my family knows about this, but we get this Kellogg cereal, the granola with like banana chips, raisins, coconut shavings, all these different things. And I always do like, I don't just let, you know, it fall where, you know, it falls. I literally go in and like fish out the individual pieces of the banana chips. So I put more in my bowl. So the people that end up eating, you know, the bag when it's like maybe halfway, they are not getting any banana chips. So sorry guys, if you didn't know, <laughs> That's what I do because I love dried bananas. But the truth of the matter is banana is already high in carbs, high in sugar. Imagine drying it and concentrating that sugar. And instead of eating a whole banana and being satisfied because it's bigger, it's more filling, you're eating just a little handful of banana chips. So chances are you're going to be overeating. Think of raisins, you know, 
if you have five raisins compared to five grapes, if you had just eaten five grapes, you know, you would have been more satisfied. You know, frozen the grape. If you ever had frozen grapes, bomb snack, low calorie. So, yeah, I do agree to a certain extent with Dr. Oz that fruit can make you fat, depending on how you eat them. If you eat them in, the, in their most raw and natural form, the chances that you're going to eat a lot, you know, big portion sizes are very, very low. Even if you wanted to eat a whole melon, a melon is so low in calories that I don't think that you can over, you, you can make yourself fat. You can maybe go a hundred calories over your goal, but to exceed your calories so much that it makes you fat, nah. So anyway, Blank Dieters, that's uh, another video in the series. Can fruit make you fat? Bye.